So this video might be a little bit painful for some of you watching this. So I'm about to talk about something I've never talked about before, and that's the ability to see exactly where your Facebook ads and Instagram ads are shown both within Facebook and Instagram, but also elsewhere on their audience network. And the reason why I say this is likely to be a bit painful for some of you is I don't think you're going to like all the places your ads have been displayed. We recently went through this process with a client and they found that their ads were appearing alongside some political stuff that they absolutely did not agree with. And there is a solution. I'm also gonna show you what that is. But going through this is a really good idea and making sure that your ads aren't appearing alongside stuff that you do not want your ads to appear alongside could be really, really important for your brand. Okay, so how do we first check where our ads are actually showing up? I'm in a Facebook ad account here and I am in Ads Manager. And what you need to do to see exactly where your ads are being shown is to go ahead and click on these three little lines and then select Brand Safety from the menu down below. Then there's lots of stuff you can do within brand safety. I'm gonna focus on what I've already discussed. So what I want you to do is go ahead and select delivery reports down here at the bottom. And then you can choose whether all campaigns, certain campaigns, you can get specific with this. You then want to select, select a placement. Now, there are a number of different options as you can see. I'm gonna start by going with Facebook in-stream videos. Now, once you do that, you can see the pages, profiles, etc., where your ads are being displayed using this placement option, the Facebook in-stream videos. And you can go through this list, you can see that uh, my ads have been displayed 49, thousand different pages, profiles, apps, etc., cetera, um, which is an enormous amount. And you can go through these, they rank them according to impressions, the top ones getting the most impressions. And you can see that some of these may or may not be things that you care about. Now, what's interesting is that a lot of these aren't very relevant to my business, things like Lad Bible, uh, Unilad, UFC, not really relevant to a digital advertising agency running ad campaigns. And that's what this ad account is, by the way. It's, it's the ad account that we use to run our own campaigns, which is primarily just retargeting campaigns to my audience for our done for you services and things like that. So a lot of these placements are quite irrelevant. Um, I had a quick flick through this before creating this video, having not done this in quite a while. And there aren't many options where I'm like, oh, I really don't want my brand associated with that. I don't want that to pop up. But it is absolutely possible that you will see options where you think that is not something I want my brand to be associated with. We all know how important our brands are, how protective we are and rightly so over them. And there might be pages where you don't want your video ad to pop up because that's gonna really create a negative association. And that's the experience that we had with a client finding options that were just not right for this client at all and having to remove them. So here's one option, go through the Facebook in-stream videos. I wouldn't go through all 49,000, obviously. Pretty sure Facebook won't allow you to do that. But some of the more obvious ones, the, the ones that get lots of impressions that come up, have a flick through and think, you know, absolutely, I do not want my ads to be shown alongside this content. I don't want that content. So Facebook in-stream videos is one option, but you can explore some of the other options. One of the most important ones being the audience network. Now the audience network is a placement option that we often won't use, but we will use it if we're using a conversion-based campaign objective, things like uh, sales, leads, stuff like that, right? So it is used still quite a lot of the time and the vast majority of Facebook advertisers use it because it's included with the Advantage Plus placements, what used to be called automatic placements, which is what most advertisers use. Now these are the uh, locations that are external to Facebook and Instagram where your um, ads can appear. And you're often gonna see a whole different bunch of apps and all that sort of stuff in here, right? And you can go through and once again, go through that process, like this one here, King James Bible verse plus audio. I don't know what that is, but depending on what my content is and what I'm advertising, that may be the sort of thing that's just not very appropriate for what I want to advertise to. You could obviously find other examples that are potentially more extreme and that you just don't want to be involved in. So I strongly encourage you to go through these, go through them for a number of the different selections here and um, find where your ads are being displayed. Best case scenario is you come in here and you go, you know what, I'm fine with those. I'm looking at the selection and some of them are related to my brand, some of them aren't, but that's all okay. I'm happy for these, for my ads to be displayed. Of course, there is a chance, as I said, we've had, where you're going to find some options here where you think, absolutely not, that's not where I want my ads to be displayed. That is bad for my brand and there is a way to fix it. Now, before I get into that, I want to tell you about something I've never talked about before. 
It's a brand new offer and we are now offering one-to-one -one consulting sessions. Now I've personally offered one-to-one -one consulting sessions for a long time, but as the business has grown and the demands of my time have grown, they have become prohibitively expensive for a lot of businesses. So what we've done is we've carved out some of our Facebook ad account managers time. So these are people within our team that run campaigns for our clients day in, day out, very experienced, uh, brilliant professionals and experts that, that can help you. We've carved out some of their time to offer one-to-one -one consulting sessions with them, which is a tiny fraction of the cost of working directly with me. So if you want an expert to take a look at your campaign, see whether you're making mistakes, help you make improvements, these sessions are done via Zoom. And with Zoom's screen share function, our account managers can take a look at whatever it is you want them to look at to help you get better results. Could be well worth the investment. Now the main problem area is up here. They're currently priced at £165 per session. Of course, that may change in the future. But if you're interested, you can go ahead and click on the link in the video description below. That'll take you directly to the calendar where you can go ahead and get one of these sessions booked in. Okay, so if you do find that your ads are appearing in locations that you don't like or alongside stuff that you don't want your ads to be shown alongside, then what you can do is add these various options that come up to what's called a block list, which is fairly self-explanatory in terms of what it's called. Now you can access your block list over here on the left-hand side under assets. You can also go through these options, which is typically what I'd recommend you do, and you can select various options. So let's say, for example, I did not want my ads appearing on World Blitz whatever that happens to be. So I could select that and I could go ahead and click add to block list. You would, if you haven't already set up a block list, you would want to give it a name, make sure that you select the right ad account if you've got multiple ad accounts and then click save and you're good to go. That is blocked, your ads will no longer appear. Now, if I just close that down. Now this can be somewhat of a labor intensive process to go through these options and add them to the block list and remove them. Um, I wouldn't recommend you that you go through all of them. As we've already discussed, you know, even with this audience network selection, there's over 12 12,000 different options. So I won't recommend you go through all and block everywhere where you don't want stuff to be displayed. But I think it's important to go through the top ones, the ones where your ads are obviously being put again and again and again, the ones with the higher level of impressions and remove the ones that are inappropriate. That might not leave you with a perfect scenario where your ads only appear exactly where you want them to, but it's going to significantly improve the situation. You can do that relatively quickly. In terms of ongoing with this setup, you don't have to do it all the time. You know, if you come in here and check this once a month, maybe once a quarter and just make those adjustments add a few to the block list, that might be well worth doing. How much time you put into this obviously depends on how closely you guard your brand. Some businesses are far more concerned with that than others. That's absolutely fine. If you wanna put more time into this and be more specific, you can go ahead and do that. But I thought it was really important to create this video given the experience we had with one of our clients recently and show you that you can come in, see where your ads are being displayed and remove the options that just don't resonate with your brand, you don't want to be associated with, and make sure you get that taken care of. And speaking of new meta advertising features that you may not be aware of, Instagram have just added a new retargeting audience, which is a really big deal. It's gonna change the way we retarget on Instagram. I talk about it in a lot of detail here. I show you exactly what this new audience is, how you can go about setting it up, and when you want to use it as part of your Instagram advertising mix.